Hi, this is T Intermediate Math 1, and uh, I'm just going to start off with a few examples. So here we go. Two angles of a triangle are measured to be 40 degrees each. What is the third angle? Well, first thing that we need to remember is the sum of all the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, that must equal 40 degrees plus 40 degrees plus x degrees. Therefore, if you solve that, simple math, x equals 100 degrees. Moving on, uh, what would the graph look like if x is greater than 4, greater than or equal to 4, or x is less than 1? Well, First of all, first thing to notice is um, whenever you see greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, that equals this. It equals a nice thick solid dot. So this equals solid. Whenever you graph it, that's what that looks like. Whenever you see a greater than and less than, no equal to, just the greater than or less than. That's a hollow dot, so you'll see a nice hollow circle. Mm, hollow. So then notice um, that we have x is greater than or equal to 4. So what do we do? We inspect all the graphs. First one, it's got it. Second one, nope. At 4, you'll see that it is hollow right here. So that's no good. Same thing with here. So no. And this one's okay. So now we just look at the next one. X is less than 1. Well, in the first one, x is greater than or equal to 4, and this one is x is less than 1. And you'll find that this one, the a does not solve that, uh, allow for that, and these two were disqualified already. So you'll notice right over here, just to the left, that in this graph it's showing that x is greater than 1, which is bogus not what we're looking for. So the solution is D. There we are. Let's move on. We have 8.63 times 10 to the 5. And what does that equal? Well, the biggest thing to remember with these kind of problems, exponents mostly, is that you just move the decimal point, the number of uh, times you have the 10 being multiplied. So you can see that right here over in the exponent. So just basically move the decimal point 5 times to the right. Now if 5 was negative, if it was negative 5, then you'd be moving it to the left. But in this case it's positive, so we're going to move it to the right. 8.63 is what we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dot here, and you just fill in the rest with zeros. So therefore, that equals 863000. 0, 0, 0. 863,000. There's your solution. And uh, I suggest you just pop on over to the next video, and thanks for watching.